In this demonstration, we're going to look at backing up Microsoft Exchange Server 2016 by using the Windows Server Backup feature. So the first thing we have to do before we can do the backup is we have to install the Windows Server Backup feature. So to do that, we'll just launch up Server Manager. Then within Server Manager, we go to our Add Roles and Features. Just before you begin, we'll select Next. We're going to do a role-based or feature-based installation and select Next. Server selection will be lon-ex1 and select next. We're not installing any additional roles, but we are installing a feature, so we'll select next. And then within features, we just need to find our Windows Server Backup feature. And select next. Read through the confirmation. We will turn on the little tick box to restart the destination server automatically if required and say yes. Then we'll select install and that will now install the Windows Server Backup feature. Now this will take a couple of minutes, so we'll just pause the demonstration and return back once the installation is complete. And that's a backup feature now installed, so we'll select Close. Next thing we'll do here is we'll just quickly create a location to actually store the backup files in. So we'll just go to Windows Explorer, and all we're going to do at this point here is we'll just go to the C drive and create a folder called Backup. So in Windows Explorer, we'll just go for our C drive, and on our C drive, we'll just create a new folder. And we'll call that backup. And then what we'll do is we'll just share that out. So we'll right click. And all we'll do is we'll share with. And we'll share with specific people. And as this is a lab environment and this is a demo, I'm just going to share this with everyone. And what I'm going to do with the everyone group is I'm going to give them full control. So we'll give them read write. And then we'll select share. Now that's shared out, the next thing we'll do here is we'll now back up our Exchange server. So now we've installed the backup feature, all we'll do at this point here is we'll click on our Start button. And then we'll just type in Backup. And we'll launch the Windows Backup program. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do a local backup. And what we're going to do is we're just going to backup once. We'll select Backup once. I'm going to back it up with different options. Don't have the scheduled backup option, so we'll select next. And what we want to do here is we want to do the full server backup, so we'll select next. Then what we're going to do is we're going to back up the remote shared folder and select next. And the location will be backslash backslash lon hyphen ex1 backslash backup, which is the shared folder we've just created. Then what we'll do here is we'll ensure that we've got the inherited tick box turned on for the permissions, and then we'll select next. And then confirmation, so we'll just read through this, make sure we're 100% happy that this is ready to go, and then we'll select our backup. And this will now go away, and it'll start doing the backup. The backup's now started. Now this is going to take a little while, so rather than sit and watch the backup occur, what we'll do at this point here is we'll just pause the demonstration and return back once the backup's complete. So the backup's now complete, so we'll just select close. Just minimize this down. And if we just have a quick look at Event Viewer, what we have is we have Event ID 2110, and that indicates that the backup was successful. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.